Our scripture for today is 3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. And today we are going to talk about sun safety um, so that we can take good care of our temple. This is part of our, our temple maintenance. We're going to talk about sun safety. And uh, the information that I provide is for educational purposes. It's not meant for diagnosis or substitution for seeking care from your um, primary care uh, physician. But sun safety, why is it important? Um, skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. And too much sun can cause skin cancer. And so we want to be able to um, protect ourselves or protect our skin from the sun. Now, what are the, the risk factors for uh, skin cancer since skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States? Well, what you need to know is that anyone can get skin cancer, but people with certain characteristics are at greater risk of developing skin cancer. So a lighter natural skin color um, increases the risk. Skin that burns, freckles, reddens easy, or becomes painful in the sun. Um, blue or green eyes, blonde or red hair, certain types and a large number of moles, a family history of skin cancer, a personal history of skin cancer, um, and older age increases the risk factors for skin cancer. Well, the weather is warm now, and so we will find ourselves outside um, perhaps more than inside. And um, whether it's doing your yard work, cutting your grass and planting the flowers, um, many of us may decide that it is now time to go to the beach and have some fun. So spending time outside is um, actually a great way to be physically active and um, it helps you reduce stress. You can get vitamin D, you know, you can work and play outside um, without raising the, your, your risk of skin cancer if you're careful in protecting your skin from the sun. Um, because most skin cancers are caused by too much exposure to ultraviolet light or UVA, excuse me, UV rays. UV rays are invisible kind of uh, radiation that comes from the sun. And it also um, comes from tanning beds and sun lamps. And what the UV rays do is uh, it can damage the skin cells. So we want to be able to protect ourselves when we're outside um, from the UV rays. And it's important to note that um, it's important to protect your skin from UV rays, not just during the spring and the summer, but actually to do it all year round. UVA rays can reach you on a cloudy day and they can reach you on days when it feels cool and UV um, rays can actually reflect off of surfaces like the water, or cement, sand, or snow. And in the uh, continental US, 
the UV rays tend to be the strongest from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. daylight savings time or 9 to 3 p.m. standard time. Now, uh, they do forecast to let you know the strength of the UV rays pretty much daily. And if you hear that the UV index is three or higher in your area, then you need to know you should protect your skin from too much um, exposure to the sun. So how do we actually do this? Well, shade. <laughs> you can seek out shade and, and that shade can come in the form of an umbrella, or if you can find yourself a nice tree or some shelter, um, you can reduce your risk of sun damage and skin cancer by staying in the shade. Because see, we want to protect our skin. We don't want sunburn. And I, I think we don't pay enough attention to our skin and, and, and sunburn. And sometimes I think we may pay more attention to not trying to burn our food than we do uh, not trying to burn our skin, you know, with sun, uh, the UV uh, rays from the sun. Um, your best bet to protect your skin is to use sunscreen and uh, to wear protective clothing when you're outside, um, even when you're in the shade. Um, when it's possible, even though this seems kind of strange, long sleeve shirts, long pants, and skirts that are covering up the skin um, can provide a good protection from UV rays. And if you find that this is not practical because like Lenore, it is hot outside, um, you can try wearing a t-shirt and maybe using a beach cover up, you know, that can um, help you. Um, clothes that are made from tightly woven fabric seem to offer the best protection um, from UV rays. Um, and you need to know that you can start out wearing a t-shirt outside, but if that shirt becomes wet, then all of a sudden that UVA protection from the t-shirt, it decreases because of the fact that it's wet. So a, a dry t-shirt will provide better protection from UV rays than a wet one. Uh, the CDC says that darker clothes may uh, offer um, more protection than uh, lighter clothes. And there is actually some clothing that has uh, written on it that is certified or, or is under international standards as offering UV protection. So you can look into clothing that way to better protect your skin. A hat is important. So for the most uh, protection, we want to wear a hat that has a brim and not a brim just in the front, but a brim that will go all the way around because we want it to shade your face, we want it to shade your ears and shade the back of your uh, neck. And if it's a canvas type, type um, type um, hat, well, that's tightly woven fabric and that's going to pro provide better protection um, from the UV rays. Now, they say you should avoid straw hats because the straw hats have holes that um, actually let sunlight uh, through the holes in the hat. So you want a hat with a brim that goes all the way around you, because it's important to protect um, your face, your ears, the back of your neck. Now, don't forget that sunglasses pay, uh, play a, a major role. We want to wear sunglasses to protect our eyes from the UV rays. And when we do it, it reduces the risk of cataracts. Um, the sunglasses also protect the tender skin around the eyes from sun exposure. So now let's talk a little bit about um, sunscreen. So when you use sunscreen, you want to 
put on a broad spectrum sunscreen that blocks both the UVA and the UVB rays. And sunscreen that has a SPF of 15 or higher, uh, you want to be able to put that on your body before you go outside. And uh, that abbreviation, um, SPF, that stands for sun protection factor. So you want a sunscreen that's broad uh, spectrum um, that's both blocks the UVA and the UVB rays and has a SPF of 15 or higher and you want to apply it before you go outside. Now there will be some areas of your body that you may not be able to reach uh, such as your back. So you want to try to ask for help so that um, someone can apply it on the hard to reach places like your back. Um, sunscreen is not recommended for babies who are six months old or younger. Uh, the CDC um, and the Food and Drug Administration recommends uh, keeping infants out of the sun during the midday and using protective clothing if they have to be in the sun. So for babies that are six months old or younger, it's recommended not to do the sunscreen, but to protect the baby's skin by not having them out um, in the sun during the midday and using protective clothing if they have to be out in the sun. So the SPF. Um, sunscreens are assigned that S, the sun protective uh, factor, uh, which is a number that rates how well the, that that sunscreen blocks the UV uh, rays. And the higher the number, um, it indicates more protection. So you should use a broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 15 or higher. Now, so you're doing just like I said, you, you're in the house, you know you're going outside, you apply the sunscreen, and now you're outside. And if you are outside um, for more than two hours, and say you've been swimming and sweating and toweling off, well, you need to reapply uh, your sunscreen because what you had applied before is now not that effective. So you're going to pretty much reapply sunscreen um, after two hours. In particular, if you've been out in the sun more than two hours and you've been swimming, sweating, and toweling off. Now, you might find that when you buy sunscreen, there are some sunscreens that have an expiration date on them. And there are some sunscreens that do not have an expiration date. And uh, the CDC information indicates that the sunscreen's uh, expiration date um, uh, has a shelf life of no more than three years. So if you had that bottle for like six or seven years, um, chances of that sunscreen being um, good and providing good protection uh, doesn't sound like it's gonna work very good. So if it's um, three years uh, old, um, or older, then, you know, you need to get some more sunscreen. Um, also, if you have some um, good sunscreen and you've left it outside and it's been exposed to high temperatures, you know, day after day, then you need to know that it decreases the shelf life um, for your sunscreen. Okay. So the skin is very important to us. It serves as a protection um, um, and, and so many other things. Our skin is very important. When you look at your skin, you know your skin best. If you see um, anything that looks unusual, um, some moles or changes in your skin, you know, you need to discuss these things with the doctor. So in summary, Sun safety is very important. And um, 
because skin cancer is the most common cancer in the United States. Uh, there are things you can do to protect yourself. Make sure that you're using the sunscreen. Uh, make sure you are seeking out shade um, via an umbrella, tree, or shelter. Wear the appropriate uh, clothing for protection. Um, have a nice hat to protect your face, your ears, the back of your neck. And sunglasses are real important um, to wear to protect protect your eyes from the UV rays and try to help reduce the risk of cataracts. So this has been our temple maintenance for today. We want to be more conscious of sun safety. And I want everyone to have a wonderful time this spring and summer um, doing your outdoor activities. You can totally do it, but let's do it safe. Safe. Have a blessed day.